this is Laura with DSP Support. In this video, we will be going over how to manage costumes using the Costume Console. The first step in setting up your Costume Console is adding the costumes to your classes. Start by going to the main classes page, pick the class, and click Costumes from the menu on the left. Click Add Costume and fill out the correct costume details. Start with the costume name. This is what you would call the costume when speaking to your dancer's parents. The system lists a number of vendors already for you to choose from. Dance Studio Pro maintains several costume company sizing charts. Currently, we maintain Revolution, Wiseman, Kelly, Liberts, Curtain Call, DanceGo, Artstone, A Wish Come True, and Costume Gallery. If you use a costume company that is not on our list of vendors, you can easily add the vendor if they have a sizing chart. The other details to add include the item number, image that can be uploaded from your computer or a link from the costume site, the website link for you to have quick access back to the costume, the base cost of the costume, what the student will pay for the costume, any notes about the costume, gender, if the details should be shown in the parent portal, and if you allow parents to pick the size of the costume, click the box here. Then click Save. After adding the costume, you will see it displayed in the list here. By default, the system will include that costume for each student enrolled in the class that matches the gender entered for the costume and is participating in the recital. You can check sizes in the students that need the costume under the Actions button. The Students and Sizes screen lets you see the sizes of costumes that should be ordered for a class. The Robo Size column shows you the suggested size based on the size chart selected for that costume and the sizes you have entered for your students. If you would like to manually change that size for a student, you can enter that size here manually in the Order Size column. It will override the Robo Sizer on all reports and on the Costume Console. If a student does not need that costume at all, you can uncheck the box in the Order column. Be sure to save your changes. You are able to enter students' measurements within the class by selecting Sizes from the menu on the left. You can also enter measurements to a bunch of students at one time by going to the main students page, selecting a student, and then click Sizes from the menu on the left. On this screen, click the button that says Enter Sizes All Students. Once you are done adding all of your costumes and student measurements, you can go to the Costume Console by going to the Main Classes page, choosing the Orange Class Options drop-down button, and selecting Costume Console. On this screen, you can open RoboSizer, which is a report that quickly provides size recommendations for the size charts we maintain. You can also post costume fees, print costume labels, mark costumes as ordered, view the progress of costume payments, manage costumes as they are received and when they are distributed to your students. Class costumes can be viewed and handled individually to track progress and view the status. When a box is checked, it is automatically saved for you. With the Costume Console, you can manage your costumes all in one place, saving you time and money. If you have any additional questions regarding the Costume Console, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at DSP Support.